anybody know what sin is? Do you know what sin is? What is sin? Well, I'm trying to tell you before you leave. Hold on. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So we must return back to the laws and commandments. There's more than 10, there's 613. You're God's chosen people. You're special. You hear me? All right now. Now I'm going to read it again. Let's find out what sin is. Whosoever committed sin transgresses the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So if you're not doing God's laws and commandments, you're committing sin. Thus says the Lord, this is not my own writing. This is not my own feelings. This is God's word. It is spirit. Luke chapter 19, verse 26. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given. And from him that hath not, even that what he hath, it shall be taken away. 27. But those my enemies, uh-oh, for those my enemies which would not have me since that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. That's Christ talking. Christ is talking about if you don't want him to reign over you, come here and let me slay, slay them in front of me. Do anybody know what Christ looked like? Because a lot of us don't want to worship the black Messiah. Christ has woolly hair and his sin was like burnt brass. If you burn anything, what color does it get? It's time to wake up to the truth. You can't claim or, or be Christ that you want. You gotta believe the record God gave for His Son. Matthew chapter 13, verse 14. And them is fulfilled the prophet the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, ye shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see. And shall not proceed. Because a lot of you guys, you can read Matthew 5 and verse 17. And he said the law and commandments are not done away with. And you guys still believe that you don't have to do the law and the commandments. It makes no sense. You're telling me that God wants you to follow this world laws. But get, leave his laws alone. We're living in the end days, you guys. It's starting to wake up to this truth. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 9 and he said go and tell this people hear ye indeed but understand not and see you indeed but perceive not make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed we are some of the most hard-headed people in the life, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Polynesian people. Because you guys want to be Gentile. If any other, other nation, God chose them, they would choose it. But we want to be just like them. They have never treated us equal. They have never treated us to be equal to them. Matter of fact, until this day, the so-called black man is still three-fifths of a man on your law book. 
It takes three of my votes to equal one of their votes. Did you know that, young lady? You didn't know that? Do you know you guys chosen people? Yeah, I know that. So you know you're Hebrew Israelite? Yeah. It's something he requires out you. You got to do the commandments. Do you hear me? It's, it's a must. But he's not playing. When you read Amos 9 and 10, he say, All the sinners of my people shall be slain by a sword. I don't want to know if you know, but a race war and all that is going to start soon. I already know. I'm, I'm going to tell everybody to repent. Repent. You repent. And the law, the law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul. You hear me? Amen. So it's 613 laws and commandments that we must return back to and take who the world calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. Alright? Uh-huh. There you go. However you say it, but um... Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 2 Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. Who is more hard-headed than the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American, and Polynesian people? Look what the Bible is saying. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes and see, and see not. They have ears and hear not. They hear not, for they are a rebellious house. The kingdom of heaven is for you, Israel. We need to wake up out of this sleep. We've been deceived. John, chapter 12, verse 40. He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their hearts and be converted and I should heal them. Now some of you God don't even want. It's only the hopeful elect. So if you hear my voice right now, so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Polynesian people, Melanesian, because we got scattered to the four corners of the earth, you need to repent and come back to the covenant that God gave to your forefathers. Acts chapter 28, verse 26 saying, go unto this people and say, hearing, ye shall hear and shall not understand. You guys don't understand that the laws and commandments or, the, or the, you know what I mean, this covenant in the world was made for you. But let me prove it right here. Let's see who the adoption is for. Because, you know, the, the pastor would say that once you be baptized, you be adopted in. But let's see who the adoption is for. I'm going to go to Romans chapter 9, verse 3. For I could wish myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenant, and the giving of the law, in the service of God, in the promises. It's only for Israelites, it's not for everybody. Whose are the fathers, and of whom concerning the flesh Christ came, who is over all, Elohim blessed forever, amen. Now a lot of us, we don't even want that. The Bible just said the adoption it's for you and only you, Israelites. Romans 11, verse 7. What then? Have Israel have not obtained what they seek it for? But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So we got people in church and they're seeking for, for God. But they're not coming back to the covenant or to the commandments and they think they're done away with. But he said the election have obtained it. The people that he gave eyes to see and ears to hear understand that we must take who the world called Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And we must also do the commandments. Thus says the Lord. I'm reading the Bible, you guys. I'm not doing a bunch of preaching. I'm reading the Bible. According to as it is written, 
God has given them a spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Wow. I just feel so so blessed that he opened my eyes because um, like six years ago, a young man was trying to tell me that, you know, I'm an Israelite and I need to come back to the covenant and, and um, the color of Christ and all that. And I told him it don't matter. But if it didn't matter the color of Christ, why did they paint him white? So it does matter. If God left a description of his son, it does matter. Everything in this Bible matters. And we just got to wake up out of sleep and come back to the covenant. You guys are a blessed people, a special people. God called you better than everybody else. Tell me if this not true. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament. So when they read the Old Testament, you guys don't want to hear. But God said these nations were going to take crafty counsel. And they're going to make you believe that the Old Testament is done away with. Because as long as we're not doing the commandments, other nations are going to be ahead of us. Israelites, we're at the bottom of all society. But when we come back to the covenant, God said he's going to return to us. Let me prove that to you right quick. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 for I am the Lord I change not so are we calling God a liar he said he changed not therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed even from the days of your father ye have gone away from my ordinances we left his laws and commandments and have not kept them return unto me and I'll return unto you, says the Lord of hosts. But ye said, wherein shall we return? We left his commandments. The Bible says, right now our servants rule over us. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American, Polynesian, the world was made for you. And you don't want it. The world was made for you. Your servants rule over you. God said his people were going to go into slavery again on ships. I don't know if you know, all of our people went to slavery. Columbus came and took the Native Americans and Mexicans away on slavery on ships. Then they came and got us on the west coast of Africa and brought us to America on ships. You hear me? You guys are God's chosen people. And he said, if you would turn back to him, your enemies will become his enemies. Thus says the Lord. Fifteen. Let me read all back over. Second Corinthians chapter three, verse fourteen. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remaineth the same veil untooken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away with in Christ. So you guys think because the world done taught you, another nation done taught you that when Christ came, the laws and commandments are done away with. So that veil that the Old Testament is done away with. But look what the Bible says in 15. But even until this day, when Moses is read, that veil is upon thy heart. You are again blinded. Hey, you guys are special, man. You are again blinded. You got to come to the covenant. But let me just read some different scriptures to you guys to, to show you who God is the God of. This is the Bible. Joel. chapter 2 verse 27 and ye should know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else my people shall never be ashamed God is saying he's the God of Israelites and nobody else this is the Bible I'm reading so called blacks, Hispanics, Native American, Polynesian we got scattered to the four corners of the earth you hear me? We're the ones at the bottom of society. 
But let me prove to you, because our forefathers left the laws and commandments, our servants rule over us. Lamentations 5 and verse 7. Our fathers have sinned and are not. And we have borne their iniquity. Because they did that, we got sold into slavery. We sit in the ghettos. Servants have ruled over us. And there is none that you do deliver us out of their hand. God is calling you guys, Israelites, so-called Black, Hispanic, Native American, Polynesian people. You guys are a special people. You too, Hebrew Israelites. Get this information. Come back to the covenant. So now I just want to see if anybody want to come and talk and get this, get this wisdom and understanding and find out who they are. Let me grab out my tablet. American is not found in the Bible. So who are you? Who are you pertaining to the Bible? Who would God call you? Can I read the scripture to you right quick, bro? To let you know. Do you know how we got over here as a people? How we get over here as a people? You don't know. You never heard slave ships? I heard slave. Yeah. You heard? You heard slave ships? Yeah. All right. Let me let me pull up some stuff before I get to I can go. go. You get to go. Yeah. You don't want to hear this information? I, well, I you, hear, can I hear it when I come back? You can. Okay. All right. So how you doing? Come over here and get this information. What's your nationality if I can ask you? Adopted in? Yes. You adopted in? Yes. Can, can I show you who the adoption is for? Okay. In the Bible? Where? Let me show you who the adoption is. And once you get this, you gotta find out who you are. Because God said, because God said who the adoption is for. You get that in Romans. Romans. Chapter 9, verse 3. And listen. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ. they got to leave on this bus and this information is so valuable it's ridiculous all the kids you get that cross there hey 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 tell them to wait this lady's trying to get her kids uh huh
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Most. What's your name? My name is Yoraka. Yeah. 